Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video, C++ Programming on Linux Environment series. In the previous video, we have demonstrated how to write a C++ program on Linux environment directly through terminal command mode. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to write exactly the same program on Linux environment directly through Qt Creator, a graphic user interface. In our demo environment, we have installed Qt Creator has been installed directly on the Linux environment. So to start, we just go to the terminal, type Qt Creator, and hit enter. So now our Qt Creator, Qt Creator has come up. So to start a, a new project, we have to go to the file. We have to select the new file or new project. And uh, this project new file or project uh, window, under the project box, you can see there's a several category you can select. You can select application Qt project. There's a, you can select a library project. Also, you can select a no Qt project. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to write a plan C++ application which so we go into the no Qt project and we select the plan C++ application and we are going to cho click choose and uh, right now they choose the location we are going to browse and choose under testing directory and we are going to create a the subdirectory it's called uh, my Qt so we are going to create a my Qt test subdirectory and the testing directory, and this is going to be our project working directory, and we are going to our project as my Qt test. So we click next, and here we choose the default build system. I click next. Uh, we select the desktop Qt 5.15 kit and we click next. Add to version control. No, we don't add the version control this time. And we click finish. After you click finish button and the Qt creator will build create a basic Qt structure for you which under this box you can see uh, under my Qt test project it's created a Qt, my Qt test dot profile which is a environment setup and uh, also under the source directory it's created a main dot cpp which is our program file. In these times you know the program we are going to write in hello world and the Qt create has a, as default created a fast. As we say, this program in the last time video, this is the basic minimal C++ program structure. So in this, at this time, uh, we don't need to write anything. We don't need to type any change. We can just direct build this. So we can go to here click uh, there's a hammer button here so we can click this and start building our project so you can hear it's a it's a building process status so everything looks green it's building successfully so now it's building completed and green successfully let's go to our linux environment so let's go to our test environment before we start our project 
I have the test under this directory. There's no file, it's empty. Now let's see what we have. So we have created a my Q test directory, which we were selected during the building. So now let's go, this is going to be our project working directory. Let's see what we have there. Under this, our working directory, my Q test. You can see there's a two sub directory. One is called the debug, another one is called my QT test. Let's see what we have under this. So you can see under my Qt test, we have a main CPP, which is our programmer file. We have a my Qt test.pro, which is our project file. And uh, this is the user configure project file. So under debug directory, we have uh, our object file, making file, and uh, the binary executable we generated here. So let's go to debug directory, and let's go into run our binary, see? And you can see the hello world has been printed here. Go back. So here we have there's the questions here. Why our binary has been built under debug directory? So let's go back to our queue creator. You can see at the building set part, my project, my queue test which is a building is and is select here is a debug. So what this means, this means when we hit the building button, we are building for debug. So when when you are, when we are building for debug, the old up the binary executable will be go under debug directory. So assume we are finished our project. We are going to deliver our project. In that, in this situation, we have to go to here to choose release. And, uh, and then we click the building button and then we build it again. And this time we are going to build in for release. So, okay, right now the so build completed. Let's go back to our working directory. And you can see right now, we have a release subdirectory created. And you can see under release directory, we have three files and the main, and under debug directory, and we have exactly the same three file name. And uh, this means that this time after we build for release, the binary executable is generated under release directory. So let's go to that uh, our release directory and uh, running our executable. You can see the result exactly the same as we are we were running, but the uh, under debug directory. But what's the different? Let's see the binary under debug directory. You can see the size of a binary under debug direct directory is much bigger than the size of binary executable under release directory. What this means? This means when we build for debug, the building process add something which enable us to do in the debug job, which when we build for release, that part of for enable us to do the debug things, which not be added for this release binary. So this binary, we can go into do the debug, which this binary, we're not able to do the debug. So usually when we finish the project, we go into deliver our solution, we will have to deliver this binary, which under its release build. 
Hello, this is Hui. Thanks for watching my video C++ programming on Linux series. Uh, wish this video is useful and uh, you are enjoyable and uh, it's going to be welcome if you give me great feedback.